Welcome to the Town of Acton, Maine's Selectman's Meeting for July 31st, 2018. First order is salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Approval of the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second that. Oh. Moved and seconded to approve the agenda. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Minute, approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Uh, they're not, that. Yeah, they're not done okay. because they're A-Pat. not available. APAT's having issues. Is this on? Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> no. um, okay, we'll table that. They're not ready yet. A-Pat. Department heads and committee chair updates. Do we have any? Nope, not seeing any. Old business. Road Association funds. So I put out there um, a template, which is, I didn't print it very large. Um, and I did get some feedback from Arnie. Um, I did have a question on um, a piece of his feedback, so I don't know if I can try to meet with him or call with him and see what, what he meant by uh, number three. But have you guys had a chance to look at this one? What? I glanced over it. I haven't really had a chance to look at Can it I close. See it for a minute? I mean, everything that was on it looked quite good to me. Um, so I guess what his, one of Arnie's concerns was that we are going to be one of the um, first towns to to do this sort of um, this main title 23 section 3101 so he wanted he wanted to be sure that there were other things on this questionnaire that don't necessarily apply to us but could to another town um, so that was his his issue that I was had a hard time understanding um, talked about 3106 section 1 sub B 1 or B 2 it just wasn't making any sense to me so maybe we need to get back together again and hash it out D yep did you read his message <coughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Cindy Hart Road, Road Committee I spoke to Arnie after I got it and we were trying to we were going to change a couple of things to simplify it I, when you get into the documentation on it, for I don't have it in front of me here, so. But he is, I think that we should get together again and meet with him, because we want to make this be ironclad. I think other towns will definitely use it. They're really interested. So it's a good plan. It needs a little more work. And after next week, when we get started on RSMS, we'll schedule a meeting and come in and, and uh, work it out with you guys. How's that? So you want me to put this on hold until you... Put it on hold until you hear from Arnie. Okay. He's really the one doing it. Okay. And we're all, and I got back to him, and I'm assuming that the others he sent that email to are going to be getting back to him too. Okay. Okay? Next, we have Atlantic Broadband Agreement. So they sent two cover letters. We'd like you to sign one copy for them, okay. one for you. And they also sent some maps that came with it. Now they've... They've made all the red line changes okay. that you guys agreed to. Okay. The That's last right. one that you went back and forth on, I did uh, physically check that one. I did not check the other ones, but that was the last point of contention. Yep. And that has been changed. Okay. That just has all the Okay. Yeah, as long as they've changed everything in it. Are you any discussion on it? No. no. I think it's been no. back and forth with the lawyers. Yeah, quite mm -hmm. a few times. Time, so yeah. Yep. We've got it covered. Yep. Okay. Do we have a motion? Make a motion that we sign the um, Atlantic Broadband Agreement. Okay. And I'll second that motion. Moved and seconded to sign the agreement with Atlantic Broadband as 
presented to us after running back and forth through all channels. That's okay. That was, or what was this? Is this still a tenure? Yes. Like the other one? Okay. Okay. Any further discussion? Call, Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed. Okay. So we have to sign. So I guess it's just down at the bottom. The system maps that you can post you if you want. That's pretty cool. It's, a, it's really only a place like for one maps. person, but you two want to sign this as well? You, you could. Okay, property maintenance survey. Uh, tabled until the end of, July, end of August, correct? Yep. Yep. Okay. Lincoln School, I think that's on me. That's on you. I have talked to uh, Dick Neal a couple of times. We just need to get together and get over there, and he's going to give me a rundown. He feels he's got a pretty good handle on who owns what in there, and we'll see. I need you to talk to Lois and Hannah. Oh, yeah. No, he's just, he's just one of the three that... Right, because they both want to give you input. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, I don't think I would, wouldn't make any decision without talking to at least Hannah on it as well, so. Yeah, Lois called I me. She wanna, had some history she wanted to share. Yeah, I want to talk to her too, so. I know, for instance, the desks that are in there, I think, came from Ted Kryzak's school. That's last I knew. Yeah, so. his little old school. Whether they were original to that school they were in there, I guess, when he revamped it. So, me for her. The stoves, they're gas stoves. I don't think they probably were ever used in there as a school. They might have been at some point, but the desks, I'd be more concerned about letting go. So, but we got to see who owns them first. So, okay. Route 109. So, I had a conversation today with. Um the, first of all, let's go back. So Tim Susi is no longer in the position with the Department of Transportation. That's the individual that we had reached out um, a couple of times before. Mm -hmm. um, so he's no longer in that position. Uh, Randy, and I don't have his last name, that, that took over the position um, is a bit backlogged with the um, outstanding projects. We kind of ran through where we stood with it um, and what we were looking for. So he has uh, promised to move it up on the list and, and come out and take a look at it. Um, from a, a different, from a, the opposite side, um, in Chapley, we actually had um, an individual reach out to the Department of Transportation and talk to them about a crosswalk on the Chapley side. And, you know, for the, where the cars, where they park and where they walk over to the beach, which is the Chapley side. Um, and I bring this up to you because Pat Adams, who is um, the higher up at Department of Transportation, has agreed to meet with the Chapley selectmen on August 3rd to look at the area. So when speaking to Randy today, I kind of, you know, asked who Pat was and how he fell on the ladder and, you know, could I switch hats and show him our concerns from Acton at the same time, and he thought that was a great idea. So, um, because that's this Friday um, at 9 a.m. I'll double check the time in case any of you want to be there. But Shapley Selectman are meeting with him regarding that issue and hoping we can just loop around and um, get some sort of input. So we are working on it. Great. You suppose they'll allow us to dovetail in on that? I mean, you said come to that same meeting. Would well, in, in, in all fairness, this, this 
cat the guy doesn't have any idea. Um, he doesn't have any idea that I'm gonna switch hats and ask him about the chap about the act inside. I just I needed to understand who he was, you know, in reference to the woman that's doing the survey and Randy and Tim Susie and right. just there are so many people involved. Um, I was gonna tell you what time it was, but so you're gonna ask him if he'll do a survey? Well, I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna tell him about um, Acton's concerns at the same time, yeah. and if he's out there looking at a possible crosswalk, maybe he has some. Just, just some suggestions for the other side um, and I believe that this gentleman that we're meeting with is would have been Tim Susie's supervisor so he might be able to and, and Randy was okay with me asking him and kind of going above his head and okay. I'm just saying with this this meeting it might be um, it might be helpful so okay. just trying to find what it actually was meeting with DOT Pat Adams at 1 o'clock Thursday no I'm sorry Thursday August 2nd 1 o'clock at foot of the lake Second. So day after tomorrow. Yeah, I might need to write that down. And that again is the Shapley selectman, so just don't I mean right. mm -hmm. he doesn't know what what he's coming, but if anybody wants to join us, I'm sure both towns would um okay. yep. work together on some sort of resolution. Looking to get a crosswalk, Shapley. Yeah, they were beach or something. Yeah, just going over on that side. The concern that the Shapley selectmen are hearing is the traffic coming down and turning into Shapley and the mm -hmm. people constantly crossing there. Um, the other thing that uh, Randy said today, I asked him about the signs. Remember the Deputy Shaw had the sign yeah. concern, no jumping off the, the bridge. Um, the sign is old and no letters on it. Um, he actually indicated that that was a local sign and that we really should be replacing it. So if you want me okay. to do that, I can talk to the road commissioner on that side. No, can't possibly be that much money to replace that sign. No. Yeah, be a good and, idea. And you know, in Shaw's yeah, statement is he can't enforce something that's a covered by trees and non-legible. You know, right. you can't hold somebody accountable. So right. Yeah, I'd say it is ahead. something minor, but you know what I mean. All these yeah. little things might might slow down the incidences mm -hmm. down there. But yep. um, I guess just wanting the people to know that we're the board is yep. taking the to. taking it seriously and looking into it. Definitely. No, I've been. I'd, I would have the motor sign. Yeah, yeah definitely whatever sign. sign. Yeah. Whoever's. Yep. I mean, I travel that twice a day to work and back. See a sign that says no jumping off the bridge? I haven't noticed it. Avenue. I've been more watching the speed limits and whatnot. I'm thinking you might need and two. One on each side. One on each side, yeah. Yeah, if we yeah. could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay that I wait till after Thursday's meeting with this guy and see what he has to say before sure. we... Yeah, that's a good idea. Yep. Okay. Anything else on 109? That's all I have for now. Okay. Bridge maintenance update. Just a follow-up, I know you guys had a meeting last night with the road commissioners. I didn't know if there was any instruction from me or how it left off. Recap. Um, I'll let all as well. Handle that. I would say the, yeah. Dave's supposed to get in touch with you at some point to draft uh, the bid for row for the 20. Okay. Yeah. As we uh, pass at town meeting. So he's going to contact me when he's ready to do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's Row Bridge, and he mentioned uh, he didn't want to do any work on it until um, the engineers had a chance to look at it untouched, unfixed, no band aids. But was he going to replace the guardrail in the meantime? Guardrail, and also um, he said something about having a company come in and take care of all the brush and stuff. I mean, I didn't I think he was going to do that, but I'm up. Well, I wrote down something about brush yeah. hogging yeah, or something. Yeah, that was, well, but, yeah, I was going um, to trim the brush. Supposed to get that done too. Down in and around the bridge. Yeah. But he didn't want to. And put a new guardrail up and not attach the guardrail to the bridge. Right. Just get he a guardrail. Some rubber. of the problems was when the cars hit the guardrail, of course, now they're still hitting the bridge. Right. So, so. I'm not positive how he's going to do that, but. Yeah, and Wickshore Drive, wasn't that one of the concerns you were going to talk about? Yeah, Scott yeah. said he was going to go down and fix the guardrails there as well. We talked to him about getting a new guardrail, not just fixing it, but getting a. Um, well, whatever kind of well, there's conflict. They they thought it, the the culvert still had another ten years, even though it had holes right. in it. But then they talked about do you remember the slip lining. That was slip lining. But I I'm talking about you know the bridge the bridge when you go over it itself. We talked about getting a, a new guardrail, not just putting bolts into oh, the guardrail. Yeah. I mean that's what I had said to him, you know, to to get that when we were sitting here. But um, and then yeah, then they started talking about you know. Trying to get another 10 years out of it. Um, he, Scott felt like the rocks that were missing from the 
gabions was already like that they kind of were built that way but I, I don't I I can't tell by looking at it I, yeah. to me it looked like they fell out but he said that structurally they it's still sound so no um, nothing further on so nothing that that side needs to do with that bridge no. did, did you guys get any more and row was uh, the only the grapevine is good for it that will <laughs> actually help the gap you know. so that side's good so the only thing would be there so trimming which i believe he's going to right do. he said something yeah. about trimming yeah. too so and yeah. canal you see you've seen the emails so we're kind of waiting to hear back from I, chris yeah and i think they sent you another one giving you a date okay when you have a chance oh, to see it okay. okay so we'll take that off the agenda yep and i will wait to hear from mr winchell okay new business transfer station parking lot Okay, so budget season this past, I guess, January, February, talked about tra uh, paving the transfer station. So we went out to bid. We got a bid from Pike, FR Carroll, and Dayton. And this was done before Warren Finance meetings, before all of that. So they were, it was in the February months. Um, so we got three bids from three different companies. Uh, the low bid at the time was Pike at 59000 um, about a month after the bid went through, um, the superintendent realized that Pike didn't bid a portion of the transfer station by the entrance that, that he was planning on them doing. So they adjusted the bid to 62000 We went at uh, 62000 and change. We went to town meeting it's a, uh, with an article for 63000 uh, Essentially, it was passed. Um, I believe that you already made a good, fair effort to decide which company was going to get it because we made an article based on that amount um, you can look at Dayton and, and FR Carroll so what happened after town meeting so a few months went by town meeting comes and goes and I contacted Pike uh, the week after town meeting to say you know the money was approved by the voters uh, we want to go ahead and schedule the work to be done uh, well, the problem is, is that the uh, liquid asphalt has gone up drastically and he sent me a new bid that brought us to 67 7 so we spent some time talking to the treasurer and sitting down with Bob and trying to figure out um, where the difference of the $4,000 could come from. Uh, we went back to the original bids and Pike um, was still was still low based on the work. Dayton had come in at 66000 but it wasn't the, um, the extra entrance wasn't on there. Anyways, long story short. Pike has agreed to honor because they understand town meetings and I sent them some of the emails that um, I know I felt like when I corresponded with the, the individual from Pike that I was very clear as to how long the bid had to be good for based on how our town meeting process works. Um, at the end of the day, Pike agreed to go back to the 62000 and do it for that price. So that's really good news. The gentleman at Pike, do you remember? That... Yeah. <laughs> the, the one at Pike that agreed to go down to the price or the one at Pike that didn't read the emails clearly no, either, the first time. Let's either not one. name him. <laughs> either one. He's fairly new in the position of estimating and, oh. you know, I, yeah. I mean, it, it, and I'm sure it's tough for municipalities, you know what I mean? But when, in the emails, I said to him in February, March, I need this for my warrant in finance, but it's got to be good come June, July, because I don't know until then if the voters will approve it. Yep. Right. Um, and they can't control the price of it, but... Right. right. At the end of the day, when it goes up that much, we don't. We just can't find that kind of money. Right. We would have had to take it out of Bob's budget. So they re-ran some numbers and agreed to go up with the matched yeah, I mean, amount. Yeah. And that's these are the other two. So. And we approved how much at town meeting? Sixty-three thousand. Sixty-three. Here's the warrant article. Yep, that's okay. We got it. Okay. So with that said. Um, the supervisor that I spoke to at Pike today um, is anxious to get the work done because apparently the um, liquid asphalt that's going up is only continuing to rise. So the sooner they can do it, the yep. less loss they're going to take. Um, so speaking to Bob Mann today, um, he'd like to have it scheduled on a Tuesday uh, so that they can be open Monday at the regular hours. Yep. Uh, and they will need to close that Wednesday of the week because they need Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday right. to pull it up. You know, reclaim yep. it all, yep. get it done. Um, and that's probably going to happen within the next two weeks. Okay. And the name is in the lower right hand corner. Yeah, I was just looking for I was just looking for a date. That's okay. Well that's the amount. This is the yep. June one. Yeah, no, that's in fine. the lower left hand corner, the dates are in there. 
See that date? Over in the left hand corner. In small print. Oh, when it was oh, printed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, the one Kim has. If you look yeah. at this one, that's the one they gave me after town meeting. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, that was good of them to. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. they were still the low bidder here, so they didn't right. gain anything. Yeah. I was just sure going to say. Clear. Yeah. Yeah. Because this was yeah. much more. This one. Yep. Um, this one was seventy-four, and this one was um, sixty. Just about the same. Yeah. I mean, so. Yep, that one didn't include the right. The front that didn't half, include, so, so that yeah. was less. So. No, Pike was good. So. All right. Okay. Do I hear a motion to accept the the uh, bid on Pike? Uh, the bid from Pike. I'll make a motion that we accept the bid on um, Pike Industries. You want to add the amount? For can I see it? Sorry. For sixty-two thousand two hundred and ten dollars to be started within the next two weeks. Okay. I'll second that. Move to second it to accept. Pike Industries bid for 62. Can't hear what I'm talking. I'm getting an echo. I'm oh, sorry. It's yeah. Quiet in the audience, please. Hello. We can hear you back here. <laughs> um, so accept the the bid from Pike Industries for sixty-two thousand two hundred and ten dollars. The we'll work to begin in a couple of weeks. Okay for the discussion. And you're okay. With, I'm sorry. And you're okay with? Um, you'll see the advertisement on the Wednesday because whenever they come in yeah. and say they can do it, it'll be short notice. But yeah. Yep. Yep. No major holidays coming up in the way, so no. Wednesdays people usually checked out by then. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. And the culvert. Oh, oh, yes, and the culverts. <laughs> yes. Um, because that's going to yeah. coincide, right? Yeah, so um, that was the other piece that um, I was, when, I, when speaking to Bob Mann today, um, he did say that there was a culvert at the transfer state entrance that needed to be uh, replaced immediate, almost immediately, especially if we're going to, you know, Pike's doing us a favor by dropping right. this price, 5000 Um So I did speak to Scott, um, and he thought he could get to it by the end of next week. Um, with your permission, I'm going to need to call him again and say, you know, I, I need this. Put, I would put it in writing as well. Yeah. That's okay. the, the, he likes things in writing as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. That way he's going um, yeah. Just because well, it, it's it got to be done. Nail it. Well, call and just follow up with a written letter. Okay. Yep. So the board supports him, and if I ask him to do it, move. ASAP. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Based on the fact that within within the next two weeks, Pike is going to be there. Okay. So it needs to be done and before that. So. And he'll have to figure out when to do it too, um, like on a day the dumps not open. Down. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. All opposed. Okay. Today's date on this. Okay, that one again only takes one signature. So. Alrighty, there you go. That can go back. Yep. Give that back to everything. Okay, cemetery appointments. So we have two uh, individuals that uh, their terms ran out June 30th. Um, they were on a one-year trial to see if, because they're from a neighboring town, um, to see if it's something they wanted to do and continue to do. And they both reached out to me saying that they would uh, like to continue serving the Town of Acton okay. Cemetery Committee. So uh, to follow along with all the other ones, I prepared three-year appointments. Okay. And they're, like, they're both already on it. Sure. Selectman's Office, Municipality of Acton, Maine, to Gerald Carter. And I will add the other name, too. It's Tracy Lavasser. The selectmen of the Municipality of Acton do in accordance with the provisions of the laws of the State of Maine, hereby appoint you as Cemetery Committee member within and for the Municipality of Acton until June 30th, 2021. Given under this, my, uh, our hands this 31st day of July, 2018. Do I hear a motion? I move we appoint uh, Tracy and Gerald as Cemetery Committee members until June 30th of 2021. I'll make a motion. Uh, I'll second that. Sorry. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Nope. Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed?
Okay, planning board alternate member. We have an opening there. I received um, the names of two individuals that were both interested um, in being the planning board. Um, and I have created all appointments for both of them because I didn't know what you were going to do. Um, Ken Paul, I did speak to him, and he does um, need a, a, a person sooner than later. So uh, Jay Ward and Dennis Long were both, uh, both called me and indicated that they were uh, interested in the position. What's the wishes? We have two, two individuals. Both, I think, would be good on the board. One's new to town, one knows the town. Do we want to meet with the individuals or do we want to just pick one? What's the wishes of the board? Who, uh, can I ask who um, got a hold of you first? Uh, Dennis Long reached out to me first. Okay. Not that that matters, but I'm just kind of wondering who. Uh, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, um, I, well, in my opinion, based on Dennis's longevity in the town of Acton and serving on multiple boards, including Road Committee, Warren Finance, and Select Board, um, I, I, I feel like he'd be a, a good fit. I do. I do agree with you. I do feel like, you know, Dennis has been, I mean... He definitely knows a lot about the town. Um, I just think it would be a good position for him. Um, I think, okay. um, yeah, I think Jay is on a, a road committee now. And is he on two? Is, I think he's on two. I mean, I think he's doing two. I think he's just on a road committee. Road committee, yeah. Oh, all right. What was I thinking? Yeah. He, I keep thinking he was on warrant and finance. Yeah. Oh. What else are you doing, Dennis? Is that's that it? it? It says only that's, committee. That's it? Okay. He was on Zoning Board of Appeals, but it's, that term ended. Everybody's term has ended. We haven't reappointed yet. All right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like you're definitely qualified, um, for sure. Have you done this before? Oh, so this is something, something a little new for you. Okay, I guess we make a decision. Someone wants to make a motion. I make a motion to appoint Dennis Long to the planning board. Jun a junior alternate. Ju junior alternate until June 30th, 2020. Do I hear a second? I'll second that. Moved and seconded to appoint Dennis Long as the planning board junior alternate until June 30th, 2020. Any further discussion? I think I think you couldn't go wrong with either one of the candidates. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that too loud. <laughs> Item D, tax rate. My second least favorite thing of the year to do. What's your first? Uh, the first is when we discuss people's property and have to take them from them. That's the first. Here's the tax yeah. Two yeah. Years ago. Yep. Is that how you want to start that Nobody conversation? That piece. The year that we <laughs> cut the tax rate by 30-some-odd 30 30, cents? 30, 35 cents. 30, yeah, uh, nobody remembers that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, O'Donnell's has been in. We have uh, run some numbers with um, the treasurer. Uh, we have the total taxable uh, valuation of real estate, personal property. We have a lot of different things, homestead, that we're calculating in. We're not looking for you to make an, a, um, a decision tonight. I just want to give you an idea of where it's looking like you're going to need to go. Um, moving 300000 into undesignated funds, which is a, a large amount that we've moved, um, and keeping the overlay minimal, um, at only 37000 Remember, your overlay is for your abatements and supplements and those types of things. Um, but the longer we get away from uh, a reval, the more that number needs to be adjusted because rates change. So 
37 should still be good. But right now you're looking at probably a 25 cents tax increase. Um, we were at 11. We were at 11.85, so you'd be going to 12.05 based on the recommendations. Um, for next week, I will have some more stable numbers for you as far as you know what the um, taxable valuation was, what it's gone up or down to. Um, you have a undesignated fund balance policy that you guys created and signed with the treasurer, so uh, 300,000 is um, going to keep you within that, but we'll get you a balance um, of exactly what's in there. So that, you know you could certainly decide if you wanted to go um, up or down with that obviously if you go down then your rate goes up higher right. um, but if you take too much out of that that's your savings yep. Um, yep. so and you know in yep. 25 cents based on the you know the transfer station parking lot the road association private fund article there, there you know if, because remember general government didn't go up municipal right. management didn't go up none of those numbers went up they were the special projects that were added on so yep. you know the voters supported those things so they yes. may be you know expecting strictly so, strictly right. driven by the voters at town meeting by, by those articles right so yep. i'll put all that together for you in a spreadsheet for next week okay. but um, that'll yep. include how much the york county taxes went up to yep okay great yep. but that's uh just to say it's not that bad no it's not great but it's I mean and like I said if we've, you, depending we've on the undesignated it. fund you can um, actually last year we went up 60 something cents no no I don't think it was that much was it no 30? it was a wasn't 30. it like 40 I think it was like 30 but there was something. a huge chunk in there that we had to come up with for county tax Be, but we took it out of undesignated funds okay okay um, okay that's right so okay so do you have any other questions or things that you want to see? Um, this is generally the time of year that we think about committing taxes because we need two or three, two or three weeks to um, get the bills and, and prep everything. Um, do you want to meet with the auditor? Do you want to meet with the, you know, you want to start with just the breakdown next week and see if that answers the majority of the questions? Yeah. And we haven't had a reavail done in a number of years. We had it done in 2010, well, 12. Somewhere around uh, 11. 12. It was 11, 12? Fucked a lot. Yeah, somewhere in through those, just before I came on the board. So generally it's, you know, 10 yeah. to 15 years taught. Yeah, so. but they've but also the been, they've also been looking at everything that's sold. They've been readjusting properties. Right, right. so they still, right, they still take all of your building permits every right. single year, right. good, bad, or otherwise, and then go out and look at them. So yeah. they're, they're, you know, they're definitely staying yeah. on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I talked with him. The, uh, what is his name again? Dennis. Dennis. He was yep. good about explaining, you know, what he had done and stuff. Yeah, they're they're definitely a good company, and it's okay. good that it's outsourced. <coughs> okay. Anything else on the tax rate? <coughs> no, sir. No. Okay. Thank public you. comment. Anyone in the public have anything they want to say? Anyone at all? <laughs> no. Quiet tonight. Okay. Announcements and upcoming meetings. On August, yeah, we're heading into August tomorrow. This was a quick summer. I don't know if anybody else feels that way or not. Um, August 2nd, planning board at 7 o'clock. August 3rd, Muslim Lake Dam meeting at 8 a.m. That would be me. Me too. That would be and you. Yeah, we have to remember yeah, I forgot to be about there. that, and that's going to be here. Yes. Correct. Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you need anything that I need to know? About? Anything from me for the meeting? Coffee. Uh, yeah, we have to make sure that Adele knows. She does know about that, okay. yes. Okay, great. Okay. No, nothing for me, so just, you'll be here at 8 yep. all as well? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's this, that's this Friday. Uh, let's see. August 7th, select, uh, select board meeting at 5. August 8th, there's a blood drive at the fire station from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. August 13th. Aquatic workshop at 11:30. What is that? Yeah, I was just going to ask I the same question. You, I thought you scheduled that. Me? Well, it says we're in connection with the library. Maybe it's not. Well, it doesn't that. say it there, but that's what it says on my calendar. Yeah, Didn't you do? Yeah, well, it's 11:30 to 4:30. It's um, um, isn't it similar? I thought it was similar to the one that you did last time with the. No, that was always two to four. What were you doing with the Gaffney Library? Is this some kind of aquatic thing with them? No? We just did our four lecture series. Okay. Um, I'll get just more information for next week. I, I've got it, the details out on my calendar. I just don't have it memorized. <laughs> I hope I'm not okay. losing it. <laughs> <laughs> August 14th, uh, Slutman's, 5 p.m. The 16th, Rec Committee at 7. 6 o'clock as well. Uh, the 16th, the Planning Board. 
at 7. The 21st, Slackman's meeting at 5. 28th, Owl's Luncheon at noon. I'll call the way through it. And the 28th, mm -hmm. Board of Slackman at 7. Anything else? At 7? That's a typo. Yes, it is a typo. That's going to be at 5. Five, not 7. There we are. Board of Slackman's on the 28th at 5. Okay. Hey. Do you have anything else, Elise? I just want to remind people that the Acton Public Library has two museum passes, one for the Children's Museum and Theater in, of Maine and Portland, and that's a 50% off um, pass for admission. And the other one is for Strawberry Bank in Portsmouth. That's free admission for two adults and up to four children free. And they do offer free parking, and it's a great place to go spend the day with Prescott Park across the street and lots of restaurants. Good. Acton Fair is also coming up. It is. I don't have the exact dates. 21st? No. No, 23rd. Somewhere through there. 24th through the 26th. Uh, 23rd. 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th. Okay. 23rd through 26th, Acton Fair. And the, f the circus that was in town yesterday, any input on that? Did you go? No, you were... Did you go? I did go. You were was it fun? I, the kids all said they had a great time. Um, so. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. It was a yeah. circus. Huh? Yep. It was a circus. Okay. Good. All right. Good. I don't remember it ever being in town. Is it, was it before? No, no that's the oh. first time. Oh, no. well, that's, that's great. Good. Okay. Do you have anything, Kim? I don't. I think no? I'm good. Okay. I make Do a it. motion that we adjourn. I'll second that. Move to second to adjourn. All in favor? All opposed. Good.